Alright, so uh, apparently the hidden quest is here in the police department. So apparently there's someone we need to talk to. I think it's this guy. Oh. It's him. No, no, no. Uh, where in the world is it? Hmm? The special support section. Hmm, go on, scram. Can't you see I'm busy? Right, sorry about that. Huh, that smell booze? Vice Commissioner Jackass seems a little more pissed off than usual. I did not particularly enjoy being scolded for the sport of it, so let's escape his temper while we still can. Wait a minute. Have you stumbled across a ring anywhere in this city? It's a wedding ring garnished with the most beautiful carnelian. A wedding ring? Where'd this topic pop up from? I don't think so. Have you, Ellie? No, I don't recall coming across anything like that. Same. Nada. Likewise, Vice Commissioner Pierre, do you did you perhaps misplace your wedding ring? Ugh. Oh, sweet ideas. If she finds out about this. Ugh. Sounds like the Vice Commissioner's wife really has him on a leash. Um, sir, we could possibly track it down for you if you give us a little bit more information. Really? <clears throat> it's nothing to fuss about, really. Last night, I merely lost sight of my wedding ring. And it's nowhere to be found. Just uh, like I thought, I must have dropped it somewhere in the Entertainment District. The Entertainment District? Don't give me those condescending looks. I just went to relax and have a few drinks. Afterwards, I played a few games of roulette at the casino and returned home. That's it. At that time, I'm positive my ring was on this very finger. I was a little tipsy, but for some reason I don't remember any, anything after I left Barca Casino. That's the truth, I swear. You do not have any memories after leaving Barca? Hmm. No, not a single one. This dude sounds like he blacked out. The smell of booze is still covering him. If he dropped a tiny wedding ring in an area that massive, the odds of finding it aren't in our favor. Yeah, if the vice commissioner was as drunk as we think he was, the responsibility is entirely his. Excuse us, vice commissioner. Do you have a handkerchief or anything similar on you? We might be able to pinpoint your ring's location if we can borrow it. What? You ha do you have some plan in mind? Yeah, I do. Thanks. You have lost me, Lloyd. What do you plan to do with something like this? Well, I thought we could try to use Zeit's nose to track down his scent. He seems to be having a panic attack, so why don't we ask Zeit to help us out later? Lost wedding ring. Ah, uh, had I known it was for this guy, I may not have been so eager to jump on it. <laughs> What he gets? You know, jerk. Alright, we got some canned coffee. I don't drink the stuff personally. Hey there, Zeit. There he is. So should we try asking him for Zeit's help? Yes, with Zeit's nose, following the Vice Commissioner's trail should be quick and painless. Accurate, too. We should explain the situation to him and ask if he is willing to cooperate. Special support section informed Zeit of the request and asked if he would lend a paw. And so we were really hoping that you'd help us out with the support request. Uh, Zeit, did you hear a word I just said? That a yes or a no? Maybe he's not interested. No, he is simply being difficult. After the disappointing lot, despite his grumbling, I believe he plans to assist us. Lloyd, would you please show Zeit the handkerchief? Sure thing. Here you go, boy. This is our target scent. Got it? What an unpleasant smell. Considering how hopeless you are, I shall help. Talk to me when you are prepared to leave. I believe that means he is in. Damn, Zeit really sounds like an old man, doesn't he? Learn to relax, dude. Conducting a search with a police dog. 
We're proper, we're proper police officers now, aren't we? The search might take some time, so let's prepare beforehand. Sounds like a plan. Uh... Save? Ask for help. Alright then, our first stop will be the Entertainment District. The Vice Commissioner claimed he still had it when he left the casino, so our best bet is to start there. Okay, which direction did the Vice Commissioner go from here? East, he says. Great, let's try uh, retracing his steps using Zeit's nose. We have to be careful not to miss uh, his ring while we're walking. Hey, Lloyd, do you think it's inefficient for the four of us to search together? We're talking about an entire district here. Wouldn't it make more sense to have Zeit narrow down the location first? Ah, uh, yeah. Wouldn't want to waste our energy. Ellie, Randy, you two mind waiting on standby for now? After Tio and I have narrowed down the ring's location, we'll come get you. Sounds like a plan to me, my man. Now, what's the place, uh, what's this place got in store for Randy today? Wait! He immediately sees the opportunity. There is no point in trying to change him. Anyway, just give me a ring on the Enigma once you once you're ready, okay? I'll be waiting on standby by that food cart. Thanks, Ellie. Of course. See you later, everyone. Shall we begin then? Yep, let's do this. Remember, Zite, we'll be walking ahead of you, uh, so make sure we don't take any wrong turns. <laughs> uh, Zite's walking animation. Are we going the right way, Zite? It appears so. Let us continue. I pose. Bench. Smell sun sight. It appears the vice commissioner briefly stopped here for a rest. The hotel? Excuse me, sir. Please refrain from bringing any pets into the building. I'm sorry, but he's with the CPD. We are conducting a minor investigation, so please do not mind us. Oh, I see. My apologies, then. You may freely search the area. Zite, you pee on the rug, I swear. So he went into the hotel. Did he? Uh, no sign of a scent. Looks like this is the wrong way. We're devoted to giving our patrons the utmost care. Da da da. Not important. The vice commissioner cut through the hotel after getting drunk? Typical behavior for a drunkard. Yeah, but doesn't it doesn't look like he dropped anything in there. Zeit claims that he went south next. South we go, then. The back alley? What's he doing back here? Oh, Zeit. It sounds like he's got a hit on our... Our guy must have passed by here. Yes, I advise we continue in this direction. Huh? Not this way, either? We should try investigating another route. Hello. Isn't this the wrong way? Zeit seems to think so. Here? 
He appears to have tracked the vice commissioner's scent inside of the shop. Imelda might be able to help us out. Excuse us, ma'am. We'd like to ask you a few questions about... Oh, the special support section, eh? <laughs> Finally fired from the CPD, were we? What? No. Anyway, I'd like to ask you a bit of an awkward question. Did an intoxicated man stumble in here last night? He actually lost something in the area while uh, under the influence. Are you talking about the fox? Now that I think about it, he did reek of cheap wine as he crashed through my door. He was babbling some nonsense and asking to be forgiven for stealing his wife's savings. He was alone, but complained enough for three men. Eventually he left, claiming uh, he was going to drink again. Jeez, he was further gone than we thought, wasn't he? We apologize on his behalf, ma'am. <laughs> it's fine. Tell him that next time he stops by, I expect him to buy one of my finest jewels. If we can't find the wedding ring, he... Uh, he might just have to. Well, we appreciate your help. Have a nice rest of your day, ma'am. That eliminates this location, then. We should continue the search. Definitely. Uh, here? Unless we went down the further back alley. Welcome to Garante. Can I help you with something? I have a potentially awkward question. Did you happen to see Vice Commissioner Pierre from the CPD here last night? He's a bit on the shorter side, has a face like a fox. Oh, you must be talking about Pierre. He stopped by for a little while last night. It looked to me like he was dead drunk already though. The Vice Commissioner seems to have misplaced his wedding ring. Do you have any idea as to where he lost it? None the slightest. I see. Talk about being blunt. Now that I think about it, he was really throwing a fit about his wife. Ever t even uh, talk uh, talked about leaving her. On top of that, he kept trying to hit on the hostess all night. I uh, definitely didn't see this coming. An unexpected development. The hostess I'm talking about is Sandra. She's sitting at the counter over there. Why don't you try asking her about it yourself? Good idea. Did he still have his wedding ring on when he was here? We should try to confirm that with Sandra. Did I say Sonia? I feel like I did. Um, excuse me, we're with the Crosswell Police. <clears throat> Let me sleep, Eric. She appears to be asleep. Guess we have no other choice. Lloyd shook the woman's shoulder. Excuse me, ma'am. We're with the Crosswell Police. Oh, jeez. What do you want? Sorry to ruin your sleep, but there's something we need to ask you. We heard you spent some time uh, with Vice Commissioner Pierre last night. Do you remember if he was wearing his wedding ring at that time? Vice Commissioner? Ah, oh, that fox-faced weirdo who kept trying to hit on me. <laughs> I told him I only... Uh, like young men, and yet he went and burned out that I'm gorgeous. That old geezer did. She's too drunk. I doubt this will get us anywhere. Analyzing the situation, it appears as if she just kept drinking the night away. She reeks of too much alcohol. Besides, that gra guy treated me like a uh, treated me to a ton of drinks. Not to mention, he grabbed my hand and fell on his knees, claiming that he'd uh, leave his wife and we'd, ought to, we'd be together forever and stuff. I'm not really, I'm really not sure how much more of this I can take. Can we leave yet? Yes, attempting to coerce any more information may prove fruitless. Hold on a second, didn't he give me something before he left? He gave you something? Oh, this is it. Cornelia Wedding Ring. A present for a beautiful maiden, and so on, he told me. I kept insisting that he wasn't my type at all, but you kids can keep it. This is not how I anticipated we would find the missing ring. Vice Commissioner Pierre, you 
didn't even drop it. Um, is something wrong? <laughs> what disappointing finale. What is your report? Have you actually managed to find it? Yes, sir. We've, re we've retrieved the ring. Vice Commissioner Pierre, take a deep breath. Please stay strong. What exactly are you preparing me for? It's just a simple little ring. Do you actually believe uh, me to be afraid of my wife? Well, do you? No, sir. Of course not. Um, anyway, here's our report. He's going to yell at us. Call us liars. And that's how it went. We were fortunate enough to persuade the hostess to return the ring. What? What? Uh oh. Surely you must be joking, right? There must be some kind of mistake. I did something like that? Me of all people? This little carnelian beauty fits your uh, description of it to a T. Well, night, eh, Vice Commish? Zeitz Kinos was able to confirm the ring is as yours. Well, uh, here's the ring we found. Oh, sh- <clears throat> Good work. You are all dismissed. However, our little encounter is strictly confidential, you hear? Not even Sergei can know. Not a peep out of you. Do I make myself clear? Okay, but I believe you have forgotten to thank Zeit. Understood. Not to worry, Zeit. We will reward you handsomely with beef treats later. <laughs> <I like that. sighs> Saved by the skin of my teeth. Everything will be okay, Pierre. Dude just instantly chilled out. Wild. I'd say this is case closed. <laughs> we shouldn't disturb him anymore. Let's get back to work. An agreeable plan. Man, screw that guy. <laughs> Alright, um. Uh... Hey, Zite. Thanks for all your help today, Zite. I'll never underestimate your nose again. Yes, he is our irreplaceable police dog. Good boy. We will make sure to ask you for help whenever we need to find evidence. Try to provide me with an actual challenge next time. He is boasting again. He really thinks he's all that, doesn't don't he? To be fair, he probably put in more effort on this request than we did. Okay, Sight, from now on, we'll be counting on that keen nose of, your, nose of yours. <laughs> I love that. That's repeatable. Alright, this should be it. Yay. Alright, we're done with uh, police. Uh, whatchamacallit, support requests. Alright, um. It's not what I want to look at. Oh, Sergei's just flat out not here. Unless he's on the roof, which I doubt. Hey, kitty. You know, I might have uh, something here that Kope might would like. I'm sure it'll be okay uh, giving this to him. Let's see. give him um, fish that we made or that we caught let's give him the gluttonous bass whoa bye kitty <laughs> welcome back giving us a gift huh 
Thanks, Kope. We'll use it well. Okay, so we're on, um, we're on the fork in the road, or the midway point, rather, of, um, whatchamacallit, the Ursula Road. So now we just need to go north a bit. And there it is, Stargazer's Tower. Off we go, to adventure. Okay, so, let's actually head over there. Go away, monkey. You stand no chance. Neither do you, snail. So, Mirage Sepeth. Cool. Oh, here it is. Stargazer's Tower is this way, right? Considering the landmarks, I'm inclined to agree. Well, no way to go but forward. Indeed. Also, because it's bothering me. There we go. Alright, so... The forest to the Stargazer Tower. Beast Flesh. Okay. And would you look at that? It's a green monkey. With red eyes. Look at that thing. It's creepy. Finish it. There we go. Oh, I forgot to analyze it. Oops. I can always do that later. Let me guess. Yep, treasure. Oh, audio, don't do that to me. New enemy? Battle scope. It is the Star Beetle. Weak to water. Let's go. All out attack. Little, some tough hides there. Almost there. There goes one. Now for the other. Finish it. There we go. Okay. So, treasure, right? Oh no, monster in a box. Max, party advantage. Let's get them. A battle scope. Oh, I'm out of range. Fine, analyze. Army pineapple. I don't know why that name cracks me up. There we go, dead. That's why I call it. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm level 20. It's five levels higher. It's the worst thing that can happen. Hello! That never happened. <laughs> we are out of our league on that one. 
a thousand damage per swing. That's not even a critical. God, if I did not take away their crit chance. In a flash of entrepreneurial inspiration, you decide to pin a notice of to this chest for rent. Newly renovated interior. Interior. 200 mira a month. We're fighting bananas. Pickle looking bananas. Kill them. They are unnatural. They're banana peels. They have nothing inside them. They are empty. Drop a nice bit of Sepeth. Alright. Good lord. Oh, Jesus! Sweet ideas! I saw- I saw death for a brief moment. Kiryu Bomb. How about you, uh, do your job and actually arrest someone for once? Yourselves, in this case. Nah. I also found out those banana things are called... Okay, now for that top path. By the way, they're called Blade Bananas. Bananan. Ooh, got a cast. Oh great, I'm going to stay like this forever, aren't I? Likely. Alright, so what is cast? Time to cast artist cut by 25%. Yeah, I will. Yeah, now I remember it. I don't remember what it used to be. It'd be good on someone like her if I could <laughs> find a way to arrange it better. But whatever. God, those things are here. No! I'm not interested in a boss fight right now. Alright, we're almost out of here. Uh, those things are annoying. The monkeys. That thing got... Oh, Jesus. That thing got, uh, two... Two whatchamacallits, two rushes in a row. I was just like, really? So I got three attacks on me. Alright, saving. Because I don't know when the end of this pathway is. Also, how many saves have we used? We're on 83. I might be a little overcautious, but whatever. They gave me a thousand save slots. I'm going to use them. Alright, where are we? Oh. Railroading for a camera shot. Stargazer Tower. Oh, hello. The CGF, what are they doing here? Does this have anything to do with Yin? There's Stargazer Tower, so we're, we obviously went the right way. Wait, is is that who I, what I think it is? A Guardian Force car? I think so. Yep, that's one of the CGF's fancy light armored cars. Why is it in a place like this, though? Let us ask, then. I mean, we're police, so... It's only right. What's the point of this little area? Alright, so who's on up here? Please, game, stop doing stuff like this. Who would want to go inside a place like Stargazer's Tower? Maybe some history buff got curious and decided to trespass. Hey! Wait, are you... I knew it. Who would have thought the next time we'd meet would be in a place like this, huh? Lloyd? Randy? Ellie and Tio too! Long time no see, Sergeant Major Seeker. 
We appreciate all the help you gave us in Mainz. Don't mention it. So what brings the SSS to Stargazer's Tower? This isn't exactly a common place for people to visit. Sorry, but we, uh, we've got something to take care of. But, uh, what's the deal with the barricade? Apparently, someone decided to destroy it for who knows what reason. The whole point is to keep people from entering the tower. Given its age, someone could get really hurt in there. Anyway, I found the barricade like this during my regular patrol. You don't say. How convenient that it was demolished today. Yeah, I think it was our perp. It must have been. Perp? You'll have to fill me in. Well, here's the gist of it. Lloyd quickly explained the situation to a confused Noel. An assassin from the Eastern Quarter? That's right. We received a message from him saying he'd be waiting for us in this tower. I thought we might as well take a look, but it looks like he was serious about waiting for us here. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. Well, what's your plan? I assume you aren't here to fall for his bait, so do you have anything up your sleeve? Er, we were actually going to do exactly that. What do you mean? You're dealing with an incredibly dangerous criminal. This has to be some kind of trap. We should contact Deputy Com uh, Commander Bales and request backup for the time being. Nah, this guy's a pro. If we roll in with an army, he'll just run away, you know. A smaller unit is the right call. That's a fair point. In that case, I won't stop you. However, since I'm responsible here, allow me to assist. You want to help? Sergeant Major, are you allowed to do that? As you know, the tower is under the Guardian Forces jurisdiction. I would be neglecting my duty if I let you wander into danger alone. Besides, it's the least I can do, since you're always looking after Fran. Sergeant Major Noel Seeker of the CGF is locked, loaded, and ready to help. Wow, thank you. To be honest, Fran's usually the one taking care of us. Hey, the more the merrier, right? I've heard Noel here is the best in combat, so let, let's use the help. I concur. Having backup would improve our combat capabilities immensely. The question now is whether or not Yin will be on edge because we have a CGF officer with us. Surely one person wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I think we're safe. I'm looking forward to working with you, Sergeant Major. Likewise. Noel has joined the party as a guest character. When there are more than four people in your party, the extra members will act as the support members. Support members remain outside of the front lines in battle, but may occasionally appear in the battle order bar to perform various attacks slash buffs on their turn. Party members can be swapped in and out under tactics in the camp menu. You can set Noelle as an attack member by swapping her with Lloyd, Ellie, Tio, or Randy. Oh, so I don't even need Lloyd. Okay. If there are more than four party members, additional characters, support characters, blah, blah, blah. No, support member. doo Yep. So I can swap her out. So say, like, let's see, 139, jeez. She's a powerhouse. Well, not as much Randy, but... Uh... Noelle Seeker, level 18. So, is that what level the game is expecting me to be at right now? Alright, what do you've got? You got Defense 2, Septium Vein, Evade 2, Attack 1, HP 2. This looks very familiar. Except no. Oh, okay. She does have her own. Yeah, she has an Earth slot after all. That's cool. She she has all her slots unlocked, and she has some upgrade. Uh, one of them upgraded too. That's nice. So these are her skills. All right. Oh yeah, I just noticed. Yeah, uh, she has a couple for one line, and then she has three separate lines. So they basically. Can't uh <laughs> okay. All right, so 
Who do I want in my party? Kind of want Ellie. Because of her S-Craft. Her S-Craft is very useful. What if I swapped out Tio for now? Because Ellie has some healing arts, so... This is weird. <laughs> She's running in our party. We got a new party member. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get going. So now we have uh, Noel Seeker in our party. Oh yeah, her crafts. What is this one? Electromagnetic net beta. Hmm. Burning divide. Oh, is this to do with that support stuff? C protection. Craft guard extends an orbital barrier and healing field over an area. HP regen. Cool. Saintly Bullet. Okay, that's cool. I'm not missing any treasure, am I? <gasps> oh man, that's... This is pretty. So is this kind of the equivalent to one of the Tetrasilic Towers in, uh, Liberal? This place is something else. It's tremendous, if I recall. This tower was built during the Middle Ages. And is it my imagination, or are there fireflies floating around? No, I see them too. It's been nearly ten years since this tower was cornered, uh, cord cordoned off. Truth be told, I always thought it'd be smart to conduct another investigation of this place. Doubt that would go over well with your chicken shit commander. I can picture him saying, Sergeant Major Seeker, that would be a waste of our precious budget. Ah, <sighs> impeccable impression. He was your superior when you were in the CGF, right Randy? I sure am lucky to work under Deputy Commander Bales. I doubt I could handle him instead. Huh. <laughs> That bastard's one of the reasons I became a cop, actually. Oh, I hadn't realized. Wait a minute, Randy. Didn't you say you lost your job when the Guardian Force because of your excessive flirtatiousness? Yeah, you definitely mentioned that. Well, I guess there was that, too. Hmm, that's odd. My friend stationed at Belgard Gate never once brought up Randy acting like a playboy, playboy or anything like that. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised how complex relationships can be. Something up, Tio? I think so. This tower appears to be different from every other place we investigated thus far. How so? Yeah, you're a little vague there. Earth, water, fire, wind. Along with those four basic elements, I am detecting the presence of the higher elements as here as well. So, in other words, the elements of orbital arts? Precisely. A lot of monsters have weaknesses to earth, water, fire, and wind arts, correct? Under normal circumstances, the higher elements, time, space, and mirage, are very powerful, but no monsters are weak to them. This place appears to follow very different rules. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, that's reminding me of, uh, Phantasma from 3rd. Well, I'm not an orbital expert, so I can't claim to understand everything you just said. But to sum it up, arts aren't going to act like they usually do, right? Yes, that is the general idea. Wait, do you hear that? Monsters? Oh god. Big boys. Look out! Well, what are these? You're kidding me. 
Save the complaints for later. Here they come. Oh god. I see that one. The the death the instant death uh prompt is back. No. <laughs> uh, battle scope, let's go. Alright, a soulless armor born from alchemy obeys its duty to remove intruders at all costs. Oh, it's weak to time. So we need like some soul blurs out here. Luckily, I have some. Is it going to actually do it? Yep. Dead in an instant. Fortunately, she does not have uh, what we need. So she has twin guns, huh? Oh god! Vanish! <laughs> oh god, all, all the fun ones are back! <laughs> uh. Welcome back! Oh yeah, and her EP just disappears. Ugh. Hate that. <laughs> Absolutely hate that. Ugh. Unfortunately, I don't have any EP to shoot away. Ow! Oh no, he's going to get another vanish if we're not careful. I'd rather him not vanish so I can get the experience. Mius. <laughs> hey, Tio. She gets experience, too. Sweet. Okay, so there's no real problem other than, like, fighting styles. Oh, they disappear relatively like Phantasma, too. Oh, God. What is this place? What the hell were those things? They didn't... Uh, they definitely weren't your run-of-the-mill monsters, that's for sure. And I don't think it's possible for a person to move around in that bulky armor. Were they ghosts? It is hard to tell. All I can confidently say is that they were not controlled by orbments. It is possible they were golems created by alchemists from the Middle Ages. Sounds like a stretch to me. How could something from way back then still move like that? You think... Uh, these might be traps laid out by our friend Yin? I can't say for sure. At the very least, we've confirmed what Tio said before the fight. Right, something about that battle felt strange. Time, space, and mirage. They're the reason, right? Yes, there must be some sort of spiritual disturbance here. I cannot provide much more information than that without proper equipment. I knew it was a bad idea to leave this place unchecked. Everyone, we should head further in. I plan to conduct a thorough investigation on this tower no matter what. You can count on us, Sergeant Major. In some special locations, the three higher elements, time, space, and mirage will be present. Here, some arts may be more effective, and new AT bonuses with a variety of effects may appear. Keep an eye out and plan accordingly. Yeah, I'm... I'm familiar with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a chest nearby. It's down... Oh, it's right there. Get it! What? Living Axe. Yeah, this is definitely like Phantasma, all right. Where the weird just kind of shows up. I can only get one of them. Oh, well. Hmm. 
Uh, it makes me slightly nostalgic, if you know what I'm saying. And it's funny because um, uh, the uh, Trails in the Sky, the third playthrough, is still going on at the time of this recording. It's weak to time. Okay. Also, machine gun fire. That seems to do pretty well. Here we go. Reviving bomb. Please take a seat and wait your turn. I'm a very busy chest. I am the chest executive officer, after all. <laughs> I get it. A living shield? A little too slow on that, Noel. Battle scope. What are these? Living shields? Yep, living shields. Getting close to being able to use that. Oh, I, I recognize that bonus on Lloyd. That's gonna suck. What the? Oh, whatever. Let me see if I can... Nope. I cannot delay the inevitable. Alright, to show you what I mean... <gasps> Randy! Well, to show you what I mean, this is guard. Basically, no damage can be done. If it, if an attack is reflected, it'll also do no damage. Yep. Ow. Okay, they're pulling out all the status effects. I believe Ellie has Stella's. There we go. No! Oh my god! I misclicked. Well, I healed Lloyd, so that's fine. Thelus, Randy. Alright, what can I use? S grenade, sleep. They are immune to sleep. So are the axes. Salt rush. No magnetic net. Uh, my best bet would probably be assault rush. I like it. Oh, hey, Tia's gonna get one of her su uh, support member things. Let's see what it's like. Oh, so, as long as we're... Oh, no, if we were in there, we get regen. I don't recognize that other one. Um. Oh, my controller. Been having problems with it lately, and then... Getting a little worried. Attack the axe. Alright, Randy. Uh, get rid of the axe, please. Ah, okay. I was wondering what was going on. Alright, Noel. Finish it. We don't want that axe around. Wow, only seven damage. Thought these guys were weak to time. They are. Yeah, physical attacks do more. Oh, okay, we have a guard up. Is that it? Yep. Okay, okay. Thank you, T.O. 
Alright. Ooh. Randy needs that. Let's all get this one. And then let's let Randy have that one. Oh, I resist death blow. Son of a... Oh, he's been stunned. Almost there. Uh, let's see. What can I use? Uh, you know what? Let's heal Randy up. Critical heal. Alright, that's one shield down. Now for the other one. I can't use anything else. Just stand there. Alright, let's give it a shot. Blast Storm! Is that a grenade launcher? And a sniper rifle? Rocket launcher! What? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, so we have to go find a different way to get there. A little slow there, Noel. Alright, second floor, here we go. Let's see. I know where this is going to lead. Gonna lead to that chest. Yes. Monster in the box. Mm-mm. God, there's so many of these things. Let's see. You know what? Combo crafts. There we go. Star blast. Wonder if the vanish is going to activate. Yep. Well, at least they died. Start stamp jumpers. What do you use, uh, what do you say when you, your divine wolf sneezes? Guhounzeit. Good Houndzeit. Hmm. A little difficult to say there. Uh, so we got stamp jumpers. Men only equipment. Sure. Hi, right, we're back on to the second floor. I want that. No, 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 no. We're not playing this game. All right, good. Let me use. The long ranged. Yay, Noah leveled up. Okay, hey, it won't give us any details. Another proxy puppet. I hear the Shrinker Corporation made a job offer to Noel. Please look forward to the latest in Zemurian footwell. No Noel sneakers. Mmm. <laughs> uh
Get the chest, get the chest, get the chest, get the chest. Celestial bomb. Is that our first one? I haven't been open in 500 years. I can fully, finally move on to the next life. Thank you. The chest has died. Oh, okay. So, had we gone that way, it would have been a dead end. Oh, I like this. 